and not come in. Hello, somebody. He could have walked right on into your door. But he said, wait a minute, grace, grace and mercy. <laughs> oh, no, we've already paid the price. God is a mighty good God, and, and I'm glad about it. You know, <clears throat> devil might well get out of here because uh, <laughs> I'm going to say a few words this morning. <laughs> we have some members who go to the prison farm, and, um, and preach and teach to the prisoner. And can you imagine the prisoner sent me call? Yeah. Men that are in the prison. <laughs> Brother Gilbert sent me a call from the prison. Behind prison doors. Radiant within the darkness. There is a place of light where memories are cherished, where joy are celebrated, where love will always dwell. Amen. Thank you, brother. In the memory you cherish, may you find peace. In the memories you cherish, may you find peace. From the prison, (laughs) y'all. Can you imagine? Not in a free world, but behind prison bars, sending a card like that. And may, may he comfort you. This is another one. And they got a whole lot of names on these cards. That these men, that somebody know God even behind the prison bar. They just got, they, they just got on the wrong road. Amen. Sometimes you can miss the, you know, I was telling the kids the other day, uh, in traveling, you got to watch your, your highway number. Make sure you get on the right road. Hello, somebody. Amen. You got to know your direction as you're traveling as east, north, south, and west. <laughs> you may have the same number, but going a different direction. And you got to know your direction. And if you go get on the wrong direction, you can find yourself going the wrong way. I can remember that I'm going on with my message in a few minutes. We were coming back in 1958. Dave, you remember that, don't you? Yo, you don't remember that. Back in 1958, we went to New Orleans. First time going to New Orleans. And on the way back, I had a friend of mine, Red John, and his wife, and Sister Monroe and Buddy and Angie and Sister Matilda. She's not here today, is she? She was with us. And um, uh, after spending a while in New Orleans, we headed back to Opelousas. How many of y'all know where Opelousas is at? And we spent the night in Opelousas. On the way there, Sister Monroe was driving. I I allowed her to drive. (laughs) And I told her to watch the highway number. And and uh, she just uh, and I and I was uh, felt satisfied by letting her drive. And discovered she was on the wrong highway. <laughs> she said, "Oh, I, I I got on the wrong highway." I said, "What direction you going?" <laughs> Y'all know. I said, "What direction you going?" She said, "I'm going." I said, "Well, look at you. Look at the map." I said, "We still gonna wind up at the same destination yeah. if you know your direction." Yeah, yeah. Hello, somebody. Amen. The road may not be as good as the other road, but then we go in the same direction. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about, brother. <laughs> hey, so it is in the Christian life. God is a mighty good God. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to say a few words if the Lord let me. They requested for me to sing a song, but I, maybe I might try it afterward. <clears throat> and, but on my mind now. Father, I stretch my hands to know the
Why don't you say it? Mm. No. Think about it. Think about it. talk to you briefly from the book of St. Luke, the 10th chapter, beginning at the 17th verse, and it reads, and the 70 return again with joy. saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and upon scarpons and over all power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. <laughs> Nevertheless, notwithstanding, rather, notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice. Let me tell you what you rejoice about. But rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. And, and I don't want to talk about knowing when to rejoice. They say, Lord, even. The devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling fall from heaven. And behold, I give you power to tread upon serpent and scorpion, and over all power of the enemy. Y'all think about that. Over all power of the enemy. You don't have to fear if you got Jesus. Hello, somebody. And nothing by any man, by any means, shall hurt you. Amen. And they rejoice over there. Now, the Bible said, uh, when the seventy and the seventy returned. Now we know at the beginning Jesus had made choice of twelve apostles. Twelve disciples. And most times we think that was all the disciples that Jesus had. 
Come on, y'all help me now. But in this lesson today, we find that there are other 70s. Let me read that for you then, so you know what I'm talking about. If you go back to the beginning of the chapter, 10 chapter, 40 verse, he said, after these things, the Lord appointed other 70s also. So, so he appointed uh, 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 70 more disciples. A amen. Other 70. And when he appointed them, he sent them out on a mission. That's it. This young man said, he sent them out not by themselves. He sent them out two by two. He didn't send them all together. But he let them go in a different direction into every city that he himself would come. He sent them out two by two. Other 70s. I want all you included in that other. You may not be a preacher, but are you included in, in the other? You may not be in the pulpit, but are you included in the other? Other 70 also. And he just didn't send them out, but he gave them something. Hello, somebody. Because he knew what they're going to be confronted with. When anybody seen you somewhere, they, they ought not seen you empty handed. Y'all come on, help me a little bit now. Amen. He sent them out, but he didn't send them out empty handed. He knew what they're going to run into. Now, let me see something here. Let me see something here, y'all. I'm not old, maybe getting older. Let me see something here, if y'all don't mind. If y'all don't mind, let me see, let me see. Yeah, and, and uh, let me see. Now, now the third verse, you know what the third verse say? He's sending them out, but he knew they were going to encounter something. He said, go your way, behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. And wolves are vicious. Amen. You got to be prepared. You got to prepare yourself to encounter wolves. You, you got to have something. Amen. When, when you come up against wolves, not, not, not a wolf, but wolves. A amen. You, some of you sitting here think this journey is easy, but it's not. E it's easy for you if you're not doing anything. A amen, amen. But if you've been called by God, if you if you have been if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, then a charge to keep you here and a God to glorify. You recognize the fact that it's not it's not about you. Some of you here this morning maybe think it's about you, but it's not about you. It's not about Reverend Monroe. It's about who I am and whose I am. 